Mm, what's up, guys? This is the Brofman, and I am back to bring you to the next episode of my Empire Total War. Let's play as the Kingdom of Portugal. And in this episode, we are making some pretty decisive gains eastward. We're attacking the city of Vilnius and destroying this Russian force here. Then we are also going to follow on and attack Yelgava and destroy the Courland Empire. But first, let us take Vilnius. The enemy has a small but highly capable army. However, that will not be able to save them. We will take the city. We will rebuild it. We will make it, build it into the mould of the, the proper Catholic peoples of Portugal. And then we shall continue advancing northeastward towards St. Petersburg. Because I believe we're getting very close towards the end of the, well, the existence of the Russian Empire. And once we take out the Spanish, we're going to be in quite an interesting opportunity to, to then decide to uh, pick and choose what we do. I would like to attack India. But let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's get our artillery up on this side of the slope. Deploy the heavy horse just a bit further up. I do like it when our elites have 225 men in them. It makes it so much simpler to form our battle lines. Unless, of course, you miss one. The guerrillas are going to screen the guns. They can have the bulk of the cavalry support because they do tend to attract cavalry attention. The howitzers are going to focus on. Actually, let's control heavy horse howitzer first. They can't actually hit anyone. Round shot it is. Let's continue our advance. We will not be slowed down. Enemy cavalry is advancing, so I want my heavy, or my uh, horse grenadier guards to push up quite aggressively. Okay, those guys are all pushing forward. Heavy horse howitzer at the second horse guard. You men hit the dragoons. Okay. You guys should be within range. Actually, you might. It's going to be too late now. You're within range to quick line these fellows. Five cavalrymen, cavalrymen killed via direct impact. Quick Glimes coming in. That's killed a bunch more. Dragoons are pivoting. You're going to get a volley from the horse grenadier guards. Sue them. Retarget the howitzers. You hit that unit of marines. You hit that guard musketeer unit. New men halt so you can get a volley off. Nope, too slow. Push forward. You know, their artillery starting to engage me. So you've chased them away. My line going to make ready to respond to enemy action. Keep my heavy cavalry pushing the flank. You men are going to be sparring at the garrison line. My artillery should be engaging something. Just pick a unit, pick any unit. Okay, that unit of marines is good enough. You men attack. The militia. How are we on really who you want to do this with? The whole pursue and destroy game. If you stay mobile, you're going to get shot at. Keep moving, keep moving. Marines are broken. 
You men advance forward to help protect the cavalry. You men push up on the right. Two units is a bit overkill for the mortars and so on to the rear. Good kills on the regiment of foot. Bring the cavalry in, charge the sixth in the rear. Kill the enemy general, we're killing their gunners. New men push forward. Switch my howitzers to round shot because I am getting a bit aggressive and these things can screw up big time. Keep pushing the cavalry away from those stakes. We've engulfed this regiment of line infantry, so they should break almost immediately. No, they held on. Good for them. 13th Regiment's going to be taking a lot of punishing fire. Actually, no, there's no point pursuing to destroy. Just push to rout, or push to shatter, rather. Because the enemy force will... Should you chase after that unit of marines? I just want to make sure that they shatter. Excellent. Cavalry withdraw. So how it says engage... One unit of marines, you engage that unit of marines, the artillery on the hill engage the 16th, you engage the 3rd. Okay, you guys can't actually shoot at much, so we're going to chop the corner off here. charge the marines in because they're at point blank range and marines love melee combat bring my heavy cavalry back into the fight line infantry guards get involved beautiful push on into the general's bodyguard oh no, you guys have you guys are going to hold out Okay, you men push on into the 17 foot guards. Curacia push. Mercenaries push. Okay, all my howitzers support the guerrillas on the left against the 3rd regiment. Okay, those marines are going down. They're being hit by artillery. Foot artillery cease fire. Okay, and there goes the 3rd Regiment. Very nice. Excellent. Place all the stakes that you want. The cavalry are not coming from that direction. Good, good, good. So let's get repairing. Build, a fortif build some fortifications, upgrade the infrastructure to enable the forward advance. We have a territory down here that we can upgrade into a church school because Vilnius is majority orthodox. And it's getting worse because they have a priest. Uh, we'll keep the pleasure gardens for now, I guess. So you're just replenishing, waiting for them. You're going to push up. So, by the time we take these remaining Russian territories, because you're going to beeline for Minsk, who will be a good enemy? I mean, the, the planned enemy will be India. I mean, we're going to finish off Spain, because we're already at war with Spain, and we've landed in Spain. But we will want to engage someone else, and I believe that someone else is probably going to be um, the Indians with an eye on with an eye on Sweden you can afford to leave Archangelsk 
Drive towards Petrovskaya. Take you a few turns. Let's get the economy of Archangels built up. Excellent opportunities here. Comey is growing nicely. We've got some foes around Moscow, but this is why we have the reserves being trained. All we have to do is hold off these two armies while the pincers push up towards the other territories. But let's take Yelgava. And then this army will stay here, act as a foil to that Swedish uh, presence on the continent. I would very much like to try and take them out, but I fear they may wait until we are engaged in India. Which is fine, but their time will come. I may end up wanting to keep reserves in London ready to rapidly redeploy. But if I keep Copenhagen secure, if I keep armies just anywhere near where they may attack from, I should be okay as long as I've got a good navy, which I do. Okay. I like the higher ground. Howitzers can just go to work on whatever they want. I'm not going to split my army up until I, until I see what I'm working with. Oh, you're not deployed, but you're in a... Ooh, whoa, whoa, whoa. No, 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 no. You go this way. You go this way. You're both within mortar range. The shells coming in. Good, thank God I moved them. These guys may still be, or may continue to be a threat. Okay, now let's see where the shells land. Because they will. Keep firing. Good, no casualties. Okay, I think you're safe. You're continuing to pound the wall. They are the most dangerous set because they are closer. But let's see where this volley lands. Excellent. So I believe from where they are now, they will be safe. Or maybe even there. Slightly push them forward, just to squeak the most out of most out of this quick climb as we can. It's not a problem though, because the quick the howitzers are over here, the mortars rather are over here, the bulk of them anyway. They'll keep firing, but they are out of range. You do not fear their artillery, sir. We Have we taken any losses from their artillery yet? It doesn't look like it. So let's give them... ...orders to attack. One of them is going to quick climb short to aim at the closer one. Another unit is going to be firing round shot at the unit further back. So you should be able to kill some of the crew from here. Yep. They've lost 10 crew already. Round shot has destroyed one of their guns. But we're going to make a couple of breaches. I'm going to speed up time as we are doing normal things. We're going to knock a hole in the wall. Then we're going to knock a hole in this wall. Spread out our forces and storm. 
because even though Sweden is a potential future adversary, I don't think they're going to be in a massive problem immediately. You collapse the wall imminently. Boom. Okay, the one that's firing round shot is actually going to focus on trying to clear out the breach somewhat. This unit's going to continue. Two minutes you can probably... Oh no, you need to keep firing. They're still manning a gun. Sorry about that. Right. Okay, I think you might just have to fire a round shot at the next crew, just to try and thin them out. We're not going to be able to kill them all in the way that we want. Gunner shenanigans mean we have not been destroying that section of the wall. Excellent. Speed up time. Theoretically, the most useful thing I could do would be just to keep one wall. If you wanted to win this, you know, min-maxing, you'd make a breach, quick climb the hell out of all of these guys, and then not do anything until you can push. But I'm going to kind of do that, but not really excessively. I just want to knock a hole in this wall, and then we're going to go. So you men can deploy in the centre. These five are going to be our left assault brigade. These five are going to be our right assault brigade. My skirmishers can try and scare the walls. To be honest, we can probably just start already. The wall's nearly done. Let's round shot this unit of garrison mortars. Yes! Yes, he's looking, studying his crew carefully. Right, back to speeding up time. My army's just rejigging it anyway. But at the very least, we can split their fire. by pushing from two main directions at once. We need to keep our armies, our troops, spread out. Boom. So now they have to... Well, they are electing not to. Okay, then... These guerrillas go up here, you go up here, and let's split the cavalry up one unit at a time. You men just drop shells into the breach. Now it's just continuing their fire. Then this next set is going to be brought to bear. They don't keep this section covered. That's going to be a massive vulnerability for them. So we need to push hard in this flank to prevent, in this position, to prevent them from being able to de redeploy too many units. Ultimately, both of my cavalry units may run in speed. And you guys may just get an order to run straight in. Screw forming up outside the walls. Same with you guys, really. Marines, get stuck in. You may all wait your turn. These Mikule get up here. These marines get ready to follow them in. Yeah, 
Yeah, they're coming, they're responding. Not sure what these gorillas are doing. Oh, they're taking the, they're taking the quick way in. I mean, here we go. They are. Oh, if we can break the twenty sec, the second before they have a chance to stop us, because they're kind of outside of the walls. There we go. So they're broken. Get in. They're pushing out to meet us. So let's push my marines around onto the flanks. Because we can begin to squeeze their bow bridge head. There we go. So some of my units will continue to push through. Give them an order to run in and form up. Because one unit of militia is not going to do... Isn't going to provide enough mass. So then you send so another unit to try to push through. Make sure my artillery is ceasing fire. My Mikulay are going to be very useful firing into this big block. Danger close quick climb. Yep, shells are away. Very risky. Very, very risky. If this misses, which it doesn't, bang on. Cease fire. Push. Probably some fratricide there, but that's a lot of dead, dead Corlanders. Get in there. Not oh, now we're engaging their dragoons. Keep fighting. Let's bring my general up here as well. Sending up their militia, ready to spar with my skirmishers. Only 78 of them though, so that's a bit of a risk. Excellent, you you can break out, you can break through. You men capture the house, you men form up and begin engaging the enemy. You men push out and set up here. The important characteristic about just pure momentum. Okay, the skirmishers are engaging my Mikale, which means they might actually get them. So you're wavering because the mortars are scary. You'll be back. The important thing is you men form up. Where's my cavalry? Is my cavalry finally getting in? Okay, you're going to start wavering soon because you're going to be under fire from the mortars. Give you guys an order to break through. Push human into one unit of garrison mortars. It's the one at the back that's going to cause the most problems, to be honest. Actually, so you may as well just charge straight into them. You're going to charge straight in. There's no point shooting. You're just going to get broken and pushed back. You may have to come out and charge the fourth because you're going to shoot more of your own men in the back. In this breach, everyone is. Continuing to spar, my skirmishers are probably gonna break, but actually they're gonna charge the militia down. There's only 33 of them left. There we go, you pull the mortarmen off the gun. These men have come back.
you man kill the last of those dragoons. Get my regiment of horse in here. I mean, you men can engage. Pursuit of militia. Let's get these guys over here to also engage in the fight. One men charge. You're gonna charge the third. There we go. Now they're definitely done. You give each one of these units an enemy Corlander unit to destroy. A bit unnecessary, but I think it's still worthwhile. Three pounders are engaging, but they're firing over the wall at our our own artillery? I'm not quite sure. Still, charge them. It looks like the Corlanders are breaking. Charge the gunners, the 43rd. Nope, there they go. They've had enough. Excellent. Nice. It's another territory acquired, and it's quite a good... Uh, it's quite a good position really to keep an eye on that Swedish position in Riga. It won't be this army that holds it. This army is too useful. It will continue to push but I will recruit a garrison force here at Yalgava. Let's make sure you're recruiting sloops at the wazoo. You've got one to protect yourself, one to protect them, one to protect them. Good, 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 good. You can't get them. You're out of range. Okay, here at Kiev, yes, you're recruiting. This is a potent little garrison force. We're pushing up towards Moscow. Let's get some things built. Okay, you're coming back to Cherkask. Because that is still a threat axis. The uh, Persians will not, will likely not give up their push. So call is destroyed. We've done all the fighting up here. I'm pretty sure. Let's hit and turn. You're slowly making your way back from the interior of the US. At some point, Austria will betray us. It may be over. Ooh, Ottomans may turn against us. Ottomans are recalling their agents because the power of Catholicism is just too strong. They're pulling back all their troops to St. Petersburg, except for a few that are likely going to uh, decline. Okay, you want to fight. I'm going to retreat. Just because I want this guy to be... I want this guy to replenish before he does anything... Uh, fighty. I don't want to lose any units in a stupid way. Come right here. Here come the Russian agents. They have no universities, so their only way to score advanced technology is by stealing it. Okay, I'm not going to intercept with this army. But if you get any closer, I will with the garrison. I mean, I'm going to auto that. Blep. <laughs> oh, I thought you were drawing the other army. Kill two at once. The Bahamas. The Kashmir. No. And technology I am not bothered about. I am not entertaining getting any technology from them at all. I've got plenty of research capacity. I have no need for any key technologies. I am good. Savoy's going to probe against the Ottomans. At some point I need to deal with the uh, Persians in the Leeward Islands. Because otherwise they will just... Well, they may take another island position. So, let's take... This force... 
Just put them under. Oh no, so. Oh. I'm, I'm allied with the Persians. I forgot about that. I forgot about that entirely. Let's. Okay, are you guys. Let's start recruiting another squadron of ships. To help defend the Americas. Top gallants we've researched, now we're on to preserved foods. So he turns to get shrapnel shot, although yeah, machine rifling would be useful to get some more light infantry types. In terms of construction, got a lot of building to do, but it's all worthwhile. So then you go over to here, you get upgraded to a trade port. Rebuild, re replenish the Moscow army, which is actually a bit weak. Let's combine troops. We're not going to combine the line infantry guards, but we're going to take an experienced unit from here, bring them into the garrison. Okay, you've been fully upgraded, fully upgraded. Uh, no, I don't need you. Great Odessa. Okay, now, now Saxony is growing to be a more useful ally in Europe. However, I will not entertain it if they have ambitions on something more than that. You're going to keep on heading over to Agvitook. You are nearly here. You're on your way to Albany. Philadelphia needs converting, or they all do, to be honest. You can start Albany and work your way south. Morocco, East Prussia, Moscow, Ukraine, Ceylon. It's going to be a fairly boring set of armies we're recruiting here um, in Ceylon, but that's a function of what we can actually recruit. So you are recruiting four more units. I'm fairly sure you just want regular infantry. Good. Traits gain, study under fire, mentioned in dispatches, and surgeon. That's quite good. Okay, you push on to Minsk, where we will just demand the surrender of the garrison. You don't really have a, pur not a purpose exactly, you may actually build some earthworks on the Lviv border. Get our buildings upgraded, let's send some of our agents into the belly of the beast. Just to see what lurks the other side of the Carpathian Mountains. Okay, good, good, good. Get these farms upgraded. You push on, to Mr. Korolev. Yeah, it has an auto resolve there. Yeah, we're allied with Sweden, so that's safe to do. You're going to keep pushing. Okay, good. Now you're at kind of full strength. What do you need? 
A skirmish unit plus an infantry unit, it looks like. Oh yeah, recruit two mercenaries anyway, that's okay. Although they've just they've damaged the pleasure gardens. Whoops, so we can't actually build them. That's fine. Yeah, Belarus fell without any um without any resistance or any real resistance. So you're holding near Breslau just in case of just in case uh, Saxony turns against us. Something like that is a will be a good garrison. Other than that, things are looking actually pretty good. Okay, now let's check out our trade zones. I'm fairly sure there's a lot of places we can't actually do anything about. Because Genoa is our ally. Hello, Spain. Get to East Africa. Oh, hello. Thank God I spotted you here. Holy moly. Could have gone really badly wrong. You are going to land troops in Spain to help the push. You're going to auto. Well, this fleet's going to auto for sure. Lost two ships, probably not the ones we're super worried about. And you men can cross over. Okay, a marsha slot, you guys repair. If you want to sail out and do stuff, that's fine. We'll keep pushing. Okay, did you crash into someone? Yeah, land your troops. Oh, you, you stopped your movement because of the fight, I see. I mean, you can... I don't know why you're... Okay. Drop your... Okay. First of all, get you to here. Something of a blade. Because I never duel, because there's almost no point, personally. So I want to pick swords. Enrique, Enrique Flores, let's go for you. I never, I never duel, and you can never really tell whose is whose. Because <laughs> you think Spain would be in yellow, in red, I'd be in grey. So my guys. Kind of ignore each other. Oh, I won! Oh, my guy, my guy is the one that threw the gun at him. Yes. But again, okay, it's pushed an agent back, so it's, it's impeded their research by one turn. But your agents generally do so much more good in one of your own universities. You know, the longer they're in there, the better it is. Personally, so I didn't really, I was never really a massive fan of that mechanic. Okay, everything's okay. Okay, right, 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 right. Who is here? Oh. Gal two galleons. That is going to be an auto blep. We're not even going to take the galleon into our service, we're just going to sink it. You men take position. Okay, we're building. Okay, so ship fleets like this are good, but. Okay, I need to. I'm a big believer in gathering fleets. It does make them kind of vulnerable. But what I want is I want to make some. 
There you go. Some Admiral's flagships. Is that all the ones I can build? Fine, I'll just recruit some of these. I want to create some fleets that go out. Their job is to go out there and protect the trade lanes. So then my trade fleets, I have some. You keep recruiting privateers and then find an Admiral's flagship third rate. Brave sailor. Good. Oh, but I don't think there's anything I can do because you don't have any armies near St. Petersburg yet. But they are en route. So you're not needed. You're going to recruit a bit of a garrison. And then we're going to hit end turn. My priests have been on a long walk of finally making their way towards their targets in the Middle East. Oh no, you're going to attack my sloop. Not my sloop, whatever will I do. Gun it, that's what my sloop's going to do. And do some good recce as well. Athens is completely open. See, the longer the Ottomans decide not to cause problems, the stronger the Catholic influence gets in the Middle East, which might be why they're pulling back their own agent. Because otherwise, we're going to be winning the spiritual battle. Um, probably should, but I'd like you to be... No. <laughs> Not that it matters. Let's do this. First army's a bit knackered. The second army is also knackered. So I don't fear any massive problems. I would have just liked this army to pick up a few more units of infantry. We're in a good position. I'm not... The Russian army's running around Moscow raiding are a frustration, but that's about it. They're not a danger. They're not a threat. We can just let them do what they're going to do. And destroy the Russian Empire as a faction in general and they'll go away anyway. So this kind of isn't what I really want. The howitzers are going to drop fire from the rear. These infantry are going to storm up and secure the higher ground. My, my artillery is going to move up. We're going to go offensive, take the land, take the high ground, and then force them to deal with us. You may be fireable off. I think may have been a bit optimistic with that initial push. Hold here. I think my artillery is going to be my foot artillery is going to be... Well, actually, they decided to pull back. Excellent. Dragoons dismounted, which is great. Concentrate all my howards of fire on that core of troops here. You men... Whoa, 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 whoa! Forgot about you guys. Forgot about the reinforcements. I forgot completely about them. Artillery form. Fusiliers form square. 
Line infantry form square. Cavalry form up. Infantry get over here. Pikemen run, pull my cavalry back, bring up my cuirassier. Pikemen should go down fairly well. You men form up. You men smash the first regiment of militia. Open fire on the enemy. That's the pikemen dealt with. At great cost. I admit. Try and knock out the Cossacks because that would be ideal. Charge the Marines, Howitzers. You're going to canister shot the ground. Okay, excellent. Okay, okay, right. Fusiliers push up one side of the guns. Line infantry push up the other side. Oh no, my general! General's bodyguard versus general's bodyguard. Duel of the Fates. Get out of here. You guys switched round shot. Engage the 3rd Regiment. You guys unlimber. Cavalry get over here. Take your general. Not, I was about to say your king, but it's not your king. Infantry form up. Okay, you might be firing into that combat, which is bad. Run away. They engage the enemy. Cavalry still alive, but they're very weak. Pull them back. Let's try swing in on the right flank to thin out the last remaining units here. Artillery just keep opening up on these enemy units. They're within canister range. Blast them. Right flank is folded. Push. Marines are taking quick line fire. Killed a few more fusiliers. Switch to canister shot because they're within range. You keep slamming shots into the enemy that are pushing up. These grid of mercenaries with canister shot from the heavy horse guard artillery should be enough to stop them from advancing. Kill the enemy general. You guys get out of square. I actually bring the cavalry back, they're done for. Canister shot the 33rd. 
a lot of artillery fire to be advancing right into the face of. The 95th Regiment of Fusiliers providing the shattering morale effects of fire by rank. Yep, they are not going to like that one bit. You're going to canister the 30th. Actually, no, don't worry. You guys canister the 39th. These marines won't stand against all the firepower from all directions. And then it's all down to the remnants of this force. Although my fusiliers are going to put the kibosh on them. Get ready to engage the 33rd. If we had round shot, if we had shrapnel shot rather, I should say. Excellent. Eh, attack them. All this infantry formed up on the right, on the left rather. You men round shot the regiment of foot. The Lancer Guards will come in and deal with these irregulars. You men pound the 33rd, because they've elected to form a square. And the Lancer Guards hit the 39th while they're still a bit vulnerable. Can't form square. Okay, they're broken. Keep killing them. Slaughter them. Slaughter the mercenaries, all this artillery. How it's a fire. Go for the 49th. You kill that last man there. Push onto the marines. Okay, let's speed up time, I believe. That's going to be it soon. There it is. What the hell was that? Never seen that before. That's cool. Okay, let's speed up time. They'll, they're all going to escape over here. And the other unit. You can get these marines losing decisively, as you would say after you've lost 223 of your friends. So it's potentially a bit dodgy, especially if they went for my artillery with their cavalry. That'll teach me to not look at the map. I kind of assumed they had a full army, but I guess not. They become the Russian agents. They want to steal my tech. They can try. There'll be nothing there to help them. They're going to lose the lot. They want Dutch Guyana. Nope. And you give me Kashmir and Sindh. No. No. Feel free to invade me to impose your will. Because if you do, we will also have troops in the attack. Venice is fortifying quite nicely. I, mean, I know Saxony at some point. Saxony will turn on me unless we have a war with Austria. Bryansk. Don't care. New men replenish. There's your mercenaries. Just keep 
on building and can we assume that this commercial basin will be the third one yes it is there's no point building military buildings in the rear in russia because they are nicely protected Let's go get an army staff college. See the irony here about having all these, having all these uh, religious buildings is it's probably going to end up in more religious agents heading south into the Middle East and into Persia. Okay, you can probably leave now, right? Minus five. No. Keep pushing my priest. Okay, where do we get to? Here. Ah, so much industry. So much growth. Ship one of these sloops over to here. Off the bat. Yeah, we've got you guys. Built fortifications. Upgrade the military production in Poland. Good, good, good. Okay, is this all Poland? No. Those two were Lithuania. Number Melon Corland. Max upgraded. Awesome. Push them from different directions. You're going to be within spitting distance of Petrovskaya, which will fall without fight. Rates gained. Glutton for Frederico Tixera. Get some more infantry recruited at Strasbourg. If they go for us, they'll hit us with everything. All of this will be involved in the fight. So I actually need a full... Nearly full. Let's get some... Yeah, we'll get, we'll get some 12-pounders to cover any breaches. And you've got you four slots. Cavalry it is for you. Unit of Hussars, a unit of light cavalry. Curious, yeah, light, uh, no, light cavalry sharpshooters and lancer guards. What's Copenhagen look like? Might be empty. Not that we can really make use of it. Oh, yeah, they, they are not happy with us yet. Send an agent to infiltrate Finland. We infiltrate uh, Stockholm. You can try and infiltrate Finland. Yeah, useful intelligence. We've got two armies here. Oh god, there's a whole bunch of them in Finland. Yep, yeah, if we want if they attack us, we need to have naval dominance of the Baltic Sea off of the bat. So let's probably move you guys inland, so to speak. Let's recruit a militia unit to hold a port. And we can push you to try to do some blocking. Although you're right to go protecting some trade lanes. Let's 
suppose you might do that. Sell you to East Africa to replace the army that's on station. Or the navy that's on station. And then at Portsmouth. We're already recruiting some thirds there. Start recruiting some first rate ships of the line. Still haven't re repaired all your buildings yet, Berlin. Brandenburg, you should be great. You should be having a great time. They keep converting them towards Catholicism. Okay, I don't think there's anything else to do apart from that. Ah, yes, push the armies. Up around Spain. You push up to Naples. You will attack, but you're going to hold for now. You're going to push up ahead of them. Let's send some ships. Oh, really? We've got some visibility on Rome. Barely. Bog standard force. You men go raid Toronto. Combine all these ships together so they can repair. Cool. Well, let's take this army and attack Naples. But looking at the timer, I believe it's time to end the episode. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed. And we'll see you next time for the capture of the Naples and the beginning of the end for the Spanish Empire. Cheers, everyone. <laughs>